Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to show you how to update SportsPress which is quite a common plugin for WordPress um, when you've got a football team or some team that has matches and leagues. I'm Scott Shanks and I'm your one-stop shop for everything digital and IT so let's uh, jump in. This is SportsPress Pro that we have here when we start updating sports for us, certainly for the first time of the season, we need to do a few things. So I'm going to show you the end-to-end -end process during the season when you start adding more games and things like that. You'll probably just do the last piece here. So first we're going to update the season. We're going to then update the league, update the match calendar, and then we're going to import some match fixtures. We're going to download their simple spreadsheet update it and import some ma uh, match fixtures. So let's get going first. Update sports press season. So I'm gonna to go to sports press here and here we have seasons. So if I just click seasons, it's quite a slow website that I have here. So I do apologize. We can see here the last season was 2019-20. So let's just go 2020 slash 21 that will automatically uh, happen um, I don't think we need to do anything else here so add new and there we go we have our new season at the top so if I go back let's go and have a look at leagues next so sports press leagues and if I'm in Sports Press plugin here, I've got leagues here, so I just need to click that one. Now I know that the league has changed sponsors. This was a sponsor last year. It's now changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this league. And I'm just going to add the new name. In. And if I have a look here, the new name for here is a... Um, Pitching in. So I'm just going to copy that. Let me just click out this text. Pitching in. So it's pitching in Southern League. Bit of it to Southern Premier League. So I'm just going to paste here. Pitching in. I'm going to update the uh, slug here, obviously. I'm going to put a dash in there. Pitching in Southern Premier League. Pitching in some Premier League, we're going to scroll down. Now we did have some good text from, from there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of this. Let's just paste that in, give it some description. I'm going to scroll down. This will update shortly once I've pressed save, so let's update this. And there we go. We can scroll down here. And we will see that that's updated. Pitching in Southern Premier League, lovely. That's the first two steps done. Now, matches calendars. So let's get the calendar um, updated. This is where, um, this is quite, key this one and we need to make a couple of updates to this calendar so sports press but we're going to a different section we're going to go into the matches and we're going to go into the calendars here okay so we see the calendars this is last season calendar so I might as well just duplicate that and then update it I'm going to update the dates I'm going to update the season, obviously, and then I'll need to update the league because we just changed the league name as well. And there we go. It's already changed on this one, actually. So that's quite handy. So let's duplicate. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. You can always delete your updates. It's uh, not a major thing to do. So I'm going to scroll down here. This is the one we've done, obviously. Let's edit that. Okay, 
And the first thing we're going to want to do is update the uh, the name at the top here. So once this is finished loading, I'm going to update the name. Then I'm going to update that permalink. So I'm going to update the name here. 20, 21. Let's get rid of this. Let's update this. Permalink here. 20 to 21. Okay. We have some um, links here. This is going to be from the calendar that we're creating. We're going to come back in another session uh, to update that, but I'm just going to update this text here. We will need the new calendars because uh, we want to put those on the website later. Good, so that's all of that updated. We need to scroll down now. These are going to be the updated calendar names. We need to scroll down and we just need to change a few of these details. So these are the sports press details here. So we've got fixtures, results. Let's just uh, scroll along here. Oh, that one seems to be locked. So that's more likely going to change once we press save. We're going to want to change this season. We're going to want to choose our new season here. We've got our pitching in. And I think we're done. After I'll come and remove all of these games. Press update on there. And if I go back to our little mind map, so we've done the first one, we've done the second, now we've done the third. Now we're going to start to import the fixtures. It's quite um, a good little tool here because if we go to matches then import fixtures so we've got matches here if i go to matches i'm obviously using this for football which we call football in the uk you can call it soccer in the us you can use this for just about any sport i'm going to click this import fixtures button this is um, some good functionality that sports press give you you can if you want click this little uh, link here and this will download a XLS sheet for you which you can populate. I've already downloaded and populated that. This is what it gives you, the date, the time, the venue, who's home and who's away. These teams need to be set up before you start this process um, and that's what you do when you're at the start of the league, this league's already got these teams in place, so I'm just pulling them in straight away. So I've updated this spreadsheet using all the correct date format, correct times. So this is ready to be imported. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, choose file. You know, it's like having your own plugins. This is a file that I've got, and then update. So upload file and import, very simple process here. I'm going to also do this for the cup matches that are coming. Now you can only, I found you can only do this for one league or one competition at a time because of this that it has here. So this is competitive. I have to choose a league now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the league. I need to choose the season. These are all the things that we've updated already. I'm in the UK, so we use day, day, month, month, year, year format. So we have our date, we've got our time, we've got our ground. Home team, away team. And if I go down to the bottom here, these are all of the matches. Um, just for housekeeping, I, I tend to try to remove these blanks at the bottom. There we go. Let's click it, import fixtures. Always worthwhile making sure the data is correct before you do this. And there we go. 24 events have been imported. None of them were skipped. So let's have a look. And 
and here we go. If we look here, this is um, obviously sorted oldest to newest. So we these are our, our matches that we've got. This is going to be the last match of the season. And now it's just a simple case of keeping the matches updated. So check out my next videos where I'm going to show you how to display these on your front page of your website. And I hope you enjoyed it.